All right, guys. So I ask you to fill out the guided notes. Um, last class as homework. Some of you did, and some of you didn't. Um, it's the whole guided notes, including lecture, was in last class file, and I filled out the notes for you just in case you don't have it, so you can have something to study with. Okay, and there's something I want to address first of all. Solvent and solute. Solute is always the smaller part you dissolve into the solvent, and there are many different example type of solution. Okay, solvent dissolving solvent, a solute dissolving solvent is solution. So we have different type of uh, solution. You can have liquid in liquid, gas in liquid, gas in gas, solid in liquid, and solid in solid. Okay, and then the most important part of the solution is the solubility. Solubility is the maximum amount of solute you can dissolve in solvent at given temperature. And of course, there's some factors that will affect the solubility, just like temperature and pressure. Okay. So let's go down here. I will come back to the like and dislike. Okay. So the temperature. So let's take a look at this diagram. Okay. So the temperature is in the x-axis. Okay. This is our solubility curve. That's a diagram you will see to determine if the solution is soluble. I mean, the, uh, the solution is undersaturated, saturated, or supersaturated. So before I get into that, you have this curve, right? You have the temperature at the x-axis. You have the y-axis, <clears throat> which is the solubility. <clears throat> Your solubility here is in unit. So the number represents the amount in grams of the solvent, a solute. Dissolve in the universal solvent water. As you can see, most of the chemicals like Ki, sodium nitrate, um, which is NaNO3, uh, ammonium chloride, Na4Cl, they all curved up. That means when the temperature increase, the amount of solute increase. Okay, the maximum amount of solute you can dissolve in that amount of water increase. That means the solubility increase. Okay. However, there are two that's decreased like NH3 and CE2SO43. Those decrease because those two are gases. Okay. Gas. So just like you have soda water, like Coke in the fridge. Once you open it, if you want to keep the bubbles in there, you don't want it to turn flat. You have to keep it in the fridge, right? If you keep your soda at room temperature after you open it, okay, and then eventually go flat. What does it mean? When it goes flat, it means the gas, the CO2 inside the soda water escaped, okay? So the CO2 no longer inside the water. That means the solubility decrease when the temperature increase. Okay, so another thing about solution, saturation. So we have three different terms. One is saturated, one is unsaturated, one is supersaturated. Okay, what's the difference? Unsaturated just means you can dissolve more, okay? into that solution. So it has not reached its limit. Saturate means it's you reach the maximum amount of solute dissolving the water. If you try to dissolve more, you add more, for example, sugar in the water, it can see the precipitation. It no longer dissolve anymore. Okay, so it's saturated. Super saturated is when you have a saturated solution. 
that means you can dissolve no more solute solute in there, right? And then you increase the temperature. Just like when we want to dissolve more water, a more sugar in the water, you have to boil it, right? And then you can add more to it, more sugar to the water. So you increase the temperature to increase the solubility. That means you can add more sugar to it, to the water, right? You can dissolve more sugar to the water. And then after you dissolve more, okay, you don't see precipitation, you let it cool down without disturbance. So when it cools down without disturbance, you can see the sticky or what we called earlier, miscible, okay? Not really miscible, like what's the word? You know what I mean, it's like syrup, right? Or honey. So it has thick texture, but it's still uniform, okay? It looks like solution, but it's not like clear like water, but it's sticky. So that is super saturated. How do we know if it's super saturated? Super saturated solution, when it's disturbed, when you shake it, your disturbance whole solution, it was the solute will start separate out from the solution. It will form certain crystals or form uh, precipitation. Okay, so you know, like honey, once you when you buy the honey, it's all uniform. There's no precipitation. But eventually, after you use honey several times, or you shake it and let it sit there for a while, you will see some crust, right, start forming. So that's the precipitation, the super saturated solution formed after disturbance. Okay? And um, what I want to do today is to Fill out the molarity, page number four, all the way up here, talking about the freezing point depression. Okay, and then uh, I want to to finish page one to three on the solution fun page that was based on the guided note, page one to three. Okay. So it's about finding the solubility, uh, if it's saturated, unsaturated, super saturated solution, and those kind of things, and about concept. So what I want you to do is to study your guided notes from page one to three also, and be ready for the quiz next class. So next class, the quiz will have 10 questions based on the definition, okay? So what is solubility curve, right? Um, what is supersaturated, what is saturated, and what is polar, nonpolar. Okay, I forgot to talk about this. So polar and nonpolar. Polar is a molecule has one positive end and negative end. The positive and negative represent the charge. So like water, H2O. So we know H2O Water is polar <clears throat> solvent, right? It's a universal solvent. So H2O, <clears throat> it, even though it's a molecule, it's non-metal combined with non-metal. However, inside this molecule, it has a dipole. So inside the molecule, oxygen, oxygen by itself, right? Oxygen, if it's an ion, it has a negative charge. And then hydrogen, if it's an ion, it's, it has positive charge. When they combine, the overall charge is zero. Compound has zero charge. However, inside the molecule, one side of oxygen, one side of oxygen is slightly positive char or negative charge. And one side of the oxygen is slightly negative charge. I mean, hydrogen. So this is... What happened? Okay, so this is a water. Okay, oxygen with two hydrogen. 
So oxygen by itself is an ion; it should be two negative. Hydrogen is plus and plus. So overall, it's a zero, zero charge. Okay. However, based on the location or composition of water, oxygen is on one side, hydrogen is on the other side, right? So this side is this side is slightly negative charged inside of the compound. Okay, and this side is slightly positive charge inside the compound. So that that's what it means. It has positive end, up、uh, opposite ends. So polar molecules also combine with ionic compound, acid, and polar covalent compound, which is water. And nonpolar is like grease, oil, wax, those things. Like dissolve like polar dissolving polar, like sugar salt dissolving water, but nonpolar does not dissolve in polar. Like oil and water, they don't mix. All right. So last part is salvation and dissociation. Salvation is the process of attraction and association of molecules of a solvent with molecule of an ion of a salt. Um, of a solute. So you see, I already have the drawing. Salvation is when you have water molecules, right? Which is H two O, is starting to combine with the ion of the solute in ACL. Start attract the positive side of ox、uh, water attracts to the negative side of chlorine. Right, chlorine ion. So that's salvation, and dissociation is a separation of solute molecules and spreading of solute through solution with more solvent surrounding. So as you see, all water is surround of Cl, and the negative side of water is surrounding the positive charge of Na. So water separate both and make them spread out into the water. That's dissociation. Sorry, my baby's dis disrupting and disturbing me. So, if you have misunderstanding, please leave me a message or write your question on the exit ticket so I can take a look and explain more next class. Have fun.